Okay, let's get started with the show first. As always, this is the news from the world of mobiles. Google finally taps the tab market. At an event in San Francisco, it unveiled its first tab, the Nexus 7, manufactured by Asus. Complete with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and NFC for connectivity, it misses out on a SIM card slot and even a 3G version. A 1.3 GHz quad-core beast resides in this tablet, which can put most other tablets to shame, especially in this price bracket. This is also the first device to ship with a sweeter version of Android Jelly Bean. Yes, Google has announced Android 4.1, which offers some nifty add-ons like an improved keyboard for better typing experience. Widgets now realign and automatically resize. Offline voice typing has been added that can help cut down on precious data usage. Google Chrome has also become the default web browser on Android 4.1. So will this Google baby be the ultimate iPad killer? Probably not. There's a lot of catching up to do for that, but the Kindle Fire may face some stiff competition. Let's take a quick look at the three tabs. The Google Nexus 7 and Kindle Fire are both 7 inches, while the iPad has a screen size of 9.7 inches. The iPad packs a brilliant 2048 by 1536 pixel resolution, the highest of the three. The Google Nexus is the lightest at just 340 grams. At this price bracket, the Nexus 7 is the only tablet to have a quad-core 1.3 GHz processor. It also has 1 GB RAM, while the other two have 512 MB. In terms of camera, the Nexus 7 has a 1.2 megapixel front camera, no back camera. The iPad has a VGA front camera and a 5 megapixel rear camera, while Amazon Kindle skips the camera altogether. The Google Nexus is priced at 199 US dollars for the 8 GB version and 249 dollars for the 16 GB and will be available July onwards.